Hey, everyone. So I've been tracing down some trade rumors and scenarios lately. You guys have seen that. But this last one. It's looking to be the most prominent and it's being picked up everywhere. So let's cover it. I mean, we control the draft initially with having the number one pick and everything is pointing towards Caleb Williams, the consensus top quarterback available. You guys know this. Everything's pointing to him going to his original home in Washington. At first, it was just a trade scenario, right? But now it has big time teeth and I've got to cover it. And it all starts with the linchpin of everything here. Offensive coordinator Cliff Kingsbury, you guys know him, you likely know this, but let's map it out. He was all but hired by the Las Vegas Raiders. <laughs> Man, I'm old. I had to pause. I almost said Oakland. Um, that lasts about 72 hours when suddenly he flipped. He turned down the job and he's committed now to being the new offensive coordinator for the Washington Commanders. As you also know, they hold the number two pick in the draft right behind us. And you've got to think, what's behind the sudden flip? I really doubt he was beat out for the job. I mean, <laughs> the Raiders are pivoting. The Raiders are pivoting to get this. <laughs> Luke Getze is their new offensive coordinator. They are going to be a mess. I just can't make this stuff up. Do we just start the clock right now on the Devontae Adams asking for a trade? <laughs> Do we just start that now? I wonder if we can gamble on it. Uh, this is more than a rumor, though. This is picking up tons of buzz, and it's also a matter of common sense. This very well may telegraph that Caleb is going to Washington, and trade talks are already at an advanced stage, or the commanders are simply confident that this deal can get done, like he's been told that this deal can get done, so it's like, why wouldn't they act on it? Why wouldn't they just get the coach that they are looking for? And we're going to go to this story on Yard Barker. You can go almost anywhere because this this uh, trade rumor is being substantiated everywhere. But let's talk about it. What could the commanders possibly have said to Kingsbury at the last minute to persuade him to drop a job that he had already committed to? I mean, that hurts relationally, right? It isn't exactly a feather in your cap if you care about your career. It's not a great look to decommit to a job that you're just about to sign a contract for. It's not great. This screams that there's some type of guarantee here, right? Some type of new development, and it's something that has teeth. Also. He's not a vanilla type offensive coordinator, right? He has a specific type of quarterback to run his modified air raid offense. You guys know this. I mean, you need a very specific quarterback here. Hello? <laughs> Should we keep connecting the dots? Obviously, Kingsbury coached Caleb Williams last year at UFC, USC, and they have a very strong bond. He was also the quarterback at Gonzaga High School in Washington, D.C., and you got to believe that coming back home, it's got to be super attractive to Caleb. I mean, it'd be attractive to me. Um, also, Caleb just fanned the flames. As soon as word of Cliff Kingsbury's hire to the Redskins, he offered his congratulations on Twitter, going to the trouble of actually posting a photo, and I think the caption said something along the lines of, my dog, congrats. I mean, that's intentional. So what would a deal look like? If we pulled off this deal, what's the payout? And I want to look at that. One proposed trade would see the Bears sending their number one pick to the commanders in return for Washington's number two pick, this year's second round pick, essentially returning the second round pick we sent to Washington at the trade deadline last year for Montez Sweat, and a third round pick in 2025. I don't think that's quite enough, though. In a previous Chicago-Washington trade, propo trade proposal uh, done by Ryan Wilson of CBS Sports, he suggests that we would still trade away our overall top pick to the commanders for their number two, their second-round pick, a little different, and their first-round pick. And I think that's about right. I think that's what it would take next year's first. If they're convinced enough that Caleb is the one, enough to move up one spot, and custom select a coach ahead of time, then yeah, they'd likely pay that, right? It's certainly an interesting proposal and one that might make sense for both sides. So what does this push the Bears to do? What does this mean the Bears react with? Matt Miller from ESPN, he had an answer to this idea. Uh, obviously, this is from a story on ESPN, so let's give credit here. You guys just go look it up. It's fantastic. I'm going to quote from it, though. Matt Miller is saying, 
if you trade from number one to number two, let Washington take Caleb Williams and you take Drake May. You're going to get a draft. You're going to get draft capital from Washington. You're also going to turn around and trade Justin Fields for a second round pick. Personally, I think it should be a first, but <laughs> Miller explained further, um, and this was on ESPN's Get Up. We saw Ryan Poles attempt to do this last year, so there's precedent. They didn't want to go from number one to number nine. They wanted to go from number one to number two and then restart the conversation about trading back one more time. It didn't work that way, but I do think there's a conversation to be had. He's going to continue. Those are going to pick up later this month at the NFL Combine. Uh, maybe. What if we just go back to number two and take Drake May? What could we get from Washington? Could we get a first rounder plus a player like Jonathan Allen? That'd be fantastic. Those are the conversations that that um, sportscasters, um, writers across the country are guessing that Chicago is having right now. And I think it's getting teeth, just these things that are happening. So basically Miller's weighing the better of the two options simply picking Williams or drafting North Carolina's Drake May and uh, pairing him with immense draft capital. The Bears have to weigh which future they'd prefer. I personally say make this trade with Washington, then draft Harrison Jr., right, and still have an extra first rounder. That's just me. I think that's the ideal scenario. Why would the Bears do this, though? Why would they pass on Caleb and go with another quarterback or go with Marvin Harrison Jr.? Let's look at that. Upon further examination, you can kind of see how Chicago might be going that way because let's look at Caleb's performance last year. It certainly wasn't up to par with this Heisman season, not by a long shot. And if you look at it objectively from the Notre Dame game on, finishing out the season, it wasn't great, man. Let's look at it. USC started at 6-0 and and then finished out the season 1-5. Caleb threw eight touchdowns, but also four interceptions over the final six games. Add to that. Add to that. In a big game against the Irish, he had one of the worst games of his career and threw three picks. It seemed to go downhill after that. Also, he ended up crying at the end of the season, but that's that's just something uh, I don't think it matters, but it's still, I want to mention that. I'm not saying this is totally what defines him as a player, but for the Bears, it could be moving them towards something. The gap between Williams and Drake May or Jaden Daniels, he just got the Heisman. It isn't actually that wide. So why not trade down, get the quarterback you want, get the receiver you want, and get some goodies? It could also mean Chicago isn't convinced any of these dudes are better than Fields. Now, this isn't my opinion exclusively. This is projecting what the Bears might be processing through. So you guys take it easier with your comments. And the way to go is simply take a swing on Harrison Jr., if Washington, if they're convinced Caleb is the best prospect in the country, they will swing big and they will go get him. The events leading up to this screams Washington's going for it. They have history of getting deals done with the Bears. Most recently, you know, we had the Montez Sweat deal last year. Uh, they're Caleb's hometown. They just did something drastic at the last hour as well to pers persuade Kingsbury to come to Washington. That's a real thing, and there's got to be something behind that, and I think this is it. Kingsbury isn't desperate for a job either. He is a desired commodity. He made the interview routes, and he definitely has a specific type at quarterback. Kyler Murray, he was a fantastic fit for the area offense in Arizona. Uh, he got rookie of the year. I think defenses started to figure him out a little bit. Then he got hurt at the end of the year. He's not quite Caleb Williams caliber, but it just makes sense in relationship, in style. And yes, even the timing of this coaching flip from Las Vegas to Washington. And I think it is the one trade destination. It is the one trade rumor. It's one trade that's starting to get substantiation from simply things that are happening. I think this is the most likely trade that's going to get done, and I absolutely would love if it gets done. I think it's the right move. So you guys let me know. I know you're going to comment. I don't have to tell you to, and uh, appreciate you guys so much. Um, you're really helping me get this channel off the ground, and um, I have the best listeners ever. So appreciate you guys. Bear down. I'll see you in the comments. See ya.